Okay, welcome to this tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to use 3ds Max and uh, Autodesk Ecotech to run a quick solar radio solar solar simulation on um, on a building streetscape. Uh, the first thing is to go to a website I highly recommend, Pandora, and uh, let's get some music happening in the background. What have we got? African. Alright, that'll do it. Firstly, we want to turn the volume down. That'll do. And we're going to create a plane. So, standard primitives, plane. Alright, there we go, that'll do. We might just add a couple more segments into there. Now we're going to edit mesh this, so let's go to modify, edit mesh, select polygons, right, so just select where you don't want, you don't want that. So we're going to select where we want the buildings to go, so let's do that and that and that, so we've got pretty much four blocks there, four street blocks. Straight there, straight there. On top of that, we're going to create a Grable. And uh, that Grable is a plugin for 3ds Max, which is um, highly recommended. Uh, it doesn't really look like a streetscape yet, so let's uh, reduce the taper on this down. Get it a bit more square. Increase the height. Let's go to, I don't know, 50, me 50 meters is our maximum height, and uh, minimum height can be 10. Alright, starting to look a bit more like a street there. Um, there we go, our solar analysis will then be cast on this streetscape. Might just increase the uh, the height of these uh, little widgets that go on top. Alright, starting to look a bit like a street there. Next thing is to uh, export this. So, we've got our city blocks and uh, we'll go to export, export selected. Now, yeah, just to the desktop, let's uh, say this is street. I need to save it as an object. You can also probably save it as a DWG. Save. Export. Done. Alright, so I've got our geometry as an object. Next, let's open Ecotect. And this is what you get with Ecotect. It's not a great space to design in, but certainly good to run a few simulations on. Uh, import 3D CAD geometry. And we'll just import the uh, the object. So um, save that as an object. Open that up. Just uncheck invert Y and X axis, and open as new. And there we go. Sort of wireframe version of um, of our streetscape. Now to see that meshed up, we can go to visualize, and uh, there we have it. So right click on your mouse to do the um, orbit in studio in uh, Ecotect and then we're just going to use these uh, these functions here on the right hand side so if we just press on the sun and we want to display shadows that's very basic sort of uh, analysis um, so that's kind of the foundation but if we want to get a bit more technical, we can actually set the location. So what we're going to do is press on this icon up here on with the uh, globe. Let's load the weather file. Let's look at Melbourne. Open that up. Climate data successfully loaded. Okay, and what we can do there is um, we can have a look at the annual sun path. And there we have it. We've got... Uh, 
365 days of the year where the sun will be. Now at the moment, it's on the 1st of April, midday. We change that to September. You can see the shadows are a bit longer at, uh, at midday. And then we can um, also look from the sun's angle. So if we want to look in September or May, that's where we'd be. It can be useful that in terms of design, um, but uh, today we're sort of more interested in um, how we might use this for uh, um, for some site analysis. So uh, we will uncheck from the sun's angle. Okay. So in terms of uh, then understanding how the uh, the shadow is cast through the year. We go down to show shadow range, and then at the moment that's set between 9 and 5, so business hours, which could be useful, or we might be interested in, um, say, midday through to uh, 6 p.m., and 30 steps are used over that time period, and uh, this is an annual sun path, so it's going to show us quite an interesting result. And there we go. So over the year between those hours of the day, that uh, shadow is what you will get on this uh, on this particular cityscape. Now uh, you can also do this in 3ds Max, but I think Ecotech's a lot better to just get a very quick result that can be then sort of exported or rendered uh, for your site analysis, and from there can sort of inform the location of design.